Hello guys, this is Andrew Pyle again, and here's another demonstration. But this demonstration is going to be for a new series that I'm planning to do. Essentially, I'm trying to do some, uh, I'm trying to learn some uh, Pata Linux or the Zinc ARM processor system. And I mean, nothing advanced will be done, at least for these initial set of videos. If anything, all I'm doing right now is just learning how to, you know, compile the the image and then upload the image in different ways to the processor. So right now this is kind of a hello world type project where in my design using a Vivado is basically only the only the, the processing system and I'm running a, a compiled version of Pata Linux on it. So on the left I already started the image using the JTAG as you can see right there and on the right is Minicom is open and it's connected to the terminal and it's displaying output from the Linux operating system. So let me just log in and if I go into the bin file, I can run my hello world program. Let's make the screen bigger, Hit enter, and uh, there we go. Right there is the output that comes from the, uh, the Zybel board. And I mean, I just basically used the template that was given for now. Like I'm, I'm going to start writing things in C++ since I haven't used C++ in a while now. But the only change I really made to it was I added the line that says, it's been a while since I've done any programming in C++, and there are a few more words afterward, but that's basically it. For the next set, few, the next set of projects I'll do in this series, I'm going to try to do basically everything that I've done using a uh, the bare metal operating system in FreeRTOS. So the next step is probably going to be, you know, being able to write an application that allows me to use the uh, switches and LEDs on the Zabble board. Uh, haven't really made too many other plans afterward, but after that it's likely going to be uh, how do I access the, the different ports that's on the processing system, for instance, the high performance, the ACP, general purpose, stuff of that nature. And then I'll probably start working on how to do more debugging. I know there's a way you can pro you can connect to the system debugger using a I think it's called TC TCP. I forgot the abbreviation, but I know there's a way you can do some debugging and um, hopefully get all that stuff working. But for now, this concludes this Hello World video, and have a nice day.